Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing it again. I can't help myself. I love this product too much. It's another Hobby Box 2122 Upper Deck Series 2. But first, as is my gimmick, going to take a card out of my PC and talk about why I love it. And today is a new edition, uh, both in the sense that I just got it and also in the sense that I just found out it was real. It is this, a clear-cut trios of Luke Shen, Matt Station, and Nikolai Kuleman numbered one of 25. This is from 0910. You can see here 0910 Upper Deck Series 1. Uh, this card is on the checklist uh, on Beckett that I found to kind of compile the cards I needed for my PC, but I never thought it was real because I'd never seen it. Uh, there's a couple other cards on there that I, I still don't think are real, but this one uh, in particular I wasn't sure, and I was in a hobby shop in, in Kitchener, Ontario, and there it was on the table. And the number one eBay, one of one, First print, whatever. A couple fire emojis. Uh, couldn't believe it, and very excited to get that and put it in my PC. The clear cut technology has improved over the years, I can tell you that, because the players are translucent and sometimes hard to see, depending on the light, but love this card. Super excited, and as you can see, the clear cuts were slightly more uh, short printed back in the day. But like I said, didn't think it was real up until I saw it on the table. On to the opening, though. Series 2. We love this set. I don't really need to talk that much about it. The rookie crop, incredible. Uh, just one of the best crops that we've seen in, in a few years. The Maybe not, you know, obviously the, the highest, highest end, like a uh, 1920 Series 2 Makar. Uh, you know, 16, 17, whatever. But... In terms of solid value up and down the lineup, there's not much better than than this product, and especially when compared to Series 1, which has Caulfield and Zegris. Don't get me wrong, that's great, and it's got other guys that are, you know, not terrible. Uh, this is, and, and Extended, which, you know, Jarvis, Turcotte, other names that are, that have potential. This is just, yeah, it's amazing. So, let's get right to it, because I just love this set. And I don't want to waste any time. What are we looking for? Um, just anything. I'm not picky. Mm, looks like we're going to start off with Young Gun. So we'll put that down. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've pulled basically everybody, I guess. If you're going to get picky, a... Oh, and we got a clear cut. Nice. Love clear cuts. A, uh, a Matthew Phillips <laughs> is the only Young Gun that I haven't pulled, period. Uh, and McTavish is the only other one that I don't currently have. I did pull a McTavish, you may remember, but uh, I sold it almost immediately. Not in the first wave of uh, of hype surrounding him. Oh, we got a French variation, just a base. Uh, Christian Fisher, Philip Heedle, Scott Lawton, and there's the French variation of Braden McNabb. Score, what a hit. Johan Larson, Matt Nieto, Michael Granlin, and Zemgis Kirkinsons. But yes, as I was saying there, uh, sold my McTavish in the first hype after the Bulldogs won the OHL championship. No regrets there. Great player. Uh, as a great junior player. Definitely some great potential at an NHL level, but I think his price is a little bit out of whack. OPG here. Zach Aston Reese, Mike Smith, Arturi Lekkonen, Kevin Rooney, and a marquee rookie of Jake Precision. Talbot, Frederick Hagel. So, I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to get those because then I have a full set. But honestly, anything at this point, just love this stuff. Such a quality set. Looks like we got our first canvas here. Matthews, Rantanen, Kopp, and the canvas is Tori Krug with the blues. Brinko, Tanev, Velarde, and Bulsers. Especially, you know, with extended, I didn't love it. It's certainly better than than last year's, but in comparison to series two, nothing comes close. More OPG, Raquel, Middlestat, Hellebuck, and a marquee rookies of Maxime Shushko, Sushko, Brown, Klingberg, Kopitar, Nelson. I just love this set. I can't speak enough about how good it is just one of the best and and you know what the quality's been good i think the inserts are good we got a red canvas there could be a canvas young gun could be another retired canvas i've been 
quite lucky in pulling the retired canvases uh, in Series 2, which is pretty rare. I think I've only pulled one retired canvas ever before, and I think I've gotten three already. What in the world? Looks like we got an NHL Passages, I think. This is extremely difficult to... Sorry, I'm looking at it off camera here, but... I don't... I... Yeah, it's a Passages. Yeah. Cool. That'll be Passages hit number three. Besser and Obi. The first two. We like to see that. Treating as well as Series 2, as per usual. Another Young Gun. So we do have a Young Gun in that Passages pack. The Passages are the... Um, not bonus hit is the wrong word, but like the um, rare hit. As they say, you're going to get a rare hit. What do we got here? Oh, a portrait, but it's upside down. Kessel, Barry, Trocek, and an upside down portrait of Jonathan Dolan. <clears throat> Put that over there. Kraus, Wallstrom, Couturier, and Orlov. So yeah, the passages also comes with the young guns. We're at three of the young guns so far or if that clear cut is. Regular canvas. Kachuk, Joseph, Oposo, Taves, and a Bob canvas. That is an awesome picture. Top notch photography. Stone, Fiala, Yamamoto. Continuing on, all the good stuff is at the start. I have no regrets about the fact that I, uh, the fact that I save all the stuff I can tell what it is until the end. Because Otherwise, you'd be blowing it right from the start. If you've watched my WWE NXT videos, you would have seen in the first one the autographs were in the first two packs, and then it makes for a boring open for the rest. Uh, we got a blue OPG here Tanev, Barzell, Rasmussen. Hey, Cider Blue. That's a really good one to get. I think I'm going to actually sleeve that up. I mean, as far as OPGs go, you know. Getting a blue of the best rookie is probably as good as it gets. Uh, Bennett, Ben Reams, Nick, Nugent Hopkins, and Drua. All right, now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, halfway. Boy, and they just don't want to, right? Just not having it today. I've got an honor roll. All right. Strom. Fabry, McDonough, and the honor roll is Lafreniere. I'll we'll just put that on top of portraits. Marner, Nechushkin, Connor, and Paul. Yeah, I think I, I don't know if I finished my thoughts on extended, but the inserts are amazing. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of fun stuff to open, and the canvas mascots love that idea, but the Young Gun class just doesn't cut it, you know? And at the end of the day, that's what, uh, that's what makes a product worth it, right? Another portraits here, Dahan, Svechnikov, Kashin, and upside down portraits of Ruzichka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Lindholm, Miller, Ehler, Bobillier. So, apologies if he becomes a superstar and I've been mis mispronouncing it this whole time. I'll be honest. Don't really fancy his chances. And we got a young gun here. So that's young gun number four of six. Uh, feel fairly safe in saying we're not going to see seven this time, because I've said it before, but seven or eight is always what you're looking for. Another young gun, number five, because uh, that means either French or exclusive slash high gloss. But we've seen the French base, and we've seen where the exclusive would be, which is where the passages is. No PG here. Sam Steele, Dante Fabro, Owen Tippett, Owen Byram, and a Daniel Walcott. Murky Rookie, Carlson, Gagne, and Leonard. What do we got here? Seven more packs, I think. Ooh, there's a card sticking way the heck up in this pack. Let's just gotta be careful here. It is just a base card, luckily. But wowie, like, look at that. That's how it came out of the pack. It's bent, you can see. Just when I was talking about uh, the quality control. Riley, Stastny, Flurry, Batherson, and a retro marquee rookie of Tanner Lubinsky. Hayton, Stahl, Teravinen, and McLeod. This one feels kind of thick. I'm gonna 
Oops, put that down for a second there. Could be nice one. Could be a rookie material. It's been a while since we've done the rookie materials. We got a canvas here. Lelushkin, Dreacher, Grimaldi. Oh, look at that photo. Oh, Bobby Orr action here. Joel Faraby canvas. Doc, Shea, Dreisaitl, and Shattenkirk. Oh boy, packs just don't want to. They're not having it with me. Oh, yeah, no. I'm just going to mangle this one. Okay, here we go. Just didn't want to. Oh, peachy here. Scandella, Barbashev, Brodine, and a retro marquee rookie of Jake Neighbors. Markstrom, Zaka, Larkin, and Yost. Three packs to go. Then we do all the fun stuff, and also, well, I guess four packs, because we got that one that felt thick. Could be wrong. Usually am. But, still gonna give it a go. Okay, ooh, we got our Dazzlers. Don't know why I got so excited there. Murray, Pavelski, Quick, and the Dazzlers Blue of Taylor Hall. Shesterkin, Bertuzzi, Maroon, and Malkin. Don't know what we have. We definitely have an honor roll left to get. We got the canvas. Uh, a young gun. Yeah, one young gun. There it is. So, we got the young guns. We've got... This should be an honor roll. I think. Oh my goodness. There it is. Okay. Goodness gracious. Oh no, it's an OPG. Alright. Obey Cabell, Gavrikov, Alexiak, Sampo Ranta, Murky Rookie, Pionk, Everly, Zabanajad, and Pasternak. So I think I was probably wrong about this being a thick pack. And this is just going to be an honor roll. Yeah. Yeah, see? I told you. I'm usually wrong. <laughs> it is just an honor roll. McKinnon, Stamkos, Lindell, Samsonov, a William Eklund, honor roll, Lindgren, Sissons, and Ben. Alright, fun stuff, which we love to see. Alright, let's start with the Young Guns. One, two, three, down. Yokiharu, Brown, Mangiapane, Sanheim, and the team is the Ducks. Oh, there you go. Asking you shall receive. Mason McTavish. That's one of the ones I was missing. Maybe Matthew Phillips will come next. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Duchesne, uh, Ekblad, and Burakovsky. So this probably has the same collation that my first box did, or whichever box I got with McTavish. Marino, Wilson, Subban, Highmore, San Jose, Jasper Weatherby, which is an excellent name, by the way, very posh, uh, Thomas, Olofsson, and Murphy, number three, Severson, Spezza, Getzlaff, O'Reilly, not really expecting anything else from this box, a Sampo Ranta, very nice. Grant is a decent mid-tier guy. Got some potential. Uh, Mikheyev, Vetrano, and Pacioretty. Two more just plain Young Guns packs. Alright. Sazikas, Leonard, Hronik, Alec Martinez, and Dyson Mayo. Uh, I think we'll do the Passages pack. because we, like we like to do all six Young Guns. Uh, Line A, Gardner, and Price. So, last, just plain Young Guns pack. Couture, McNabb, Hartman, Barkov, and Brett Murray for the Sabres. So these are definitely guys I haven't seen in a while. Other than in retail. Or opened retail off-camera. Uh, Point, Hints, and Ovi. Let's do the passages. The passages are super fun. So, We've got Yanni Kukkonen, Radic Faxa, and the passages is. Oof, what's this? Tough to NHL passages. Carey Price. And you can see behind there, Frederick Allard, young gun. Love that. 
but another one of those instances of a passages that is all a guy with the same team, which I, yes, has been all three of the passages that I've gotten. Still haven't gotten one where the guy's on a different team, but man, these cards are just beautiful cards. And then Frederick Allard was the final young gun. Let's see what the canvas is now. Oh, actually, sorry. Suzuki back on Fluger. Sadly, I did see. If it is a canvas young gun, it's very light, so it's not Cole Caulfield. Oshi, Muzzin, Anderson Dolan, Patch Randolo, and oh, it's a program of excellence of Ty Smith. So not a spectacular name, obviously, but the POEs are a tough pull, and I like them. So happy with that. Athanasiu, Provorov, and Lindholm. And next, or lastly, the clear cut. I love the clear cuts. Hoping for a young gun. Sorokin. Texier. Need a rider. Romanov. It is just a base one. It is Victor Olofsson. But still, these are awesome cards. So a clear cut of Victor Olofsson is the final hit. The base cards, Shiri, Sharangovich, and Hughes. So let's recap very quickly here, but we got the, I'm gonna take that out, include it in the recap. We got the blue Marky Rookie of Cider. We got the McTavish Young Gun, which is a big one. And the other five Young Guns. We got the Case Hit, Passages of Carey Price, a POE of Ty Smith, and a clear cut of Victor Olipson. All in all, another fun box. Love this class, love this product. So if you like this, like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. We'll see you next time.